Hi, I'm Robert Kurtzman, director of The Demolitionist. We came up with the idea for The Demolitionist out of my love for action films. Uh, I've worked in the industry as an effects artist for about 11 years now. I have a company called KMB Effects Group Incorporated. We worked on over 100 movies like Eraser, the upcoming Arnold Schwarzenegger film, Dust Till Dawn, A Dance with Wolves, Misery, uh, City Slickers, Army of Darkness, Pulp Fiction, a whole range of films. And over the years, I've become really attached to the action genre. Working on a lot of horror films as well, but I decided on my directing debut I wanted to do an action film. And we wanted to come up with a concept of a female action hero who wasn't a bimbo or wasn't an um, exploited character. And uh, that's what, how the demolition was, Demolitionist was born. KMB Effects Group created a mold for the costume and body armor for the Demolitionist from star Nicole Eggert's body. Plaster bandages, sometimes reaching temperatures of 120 degrees, covered Eggert to create a body cast from which fiberglass molds were created. Casts were made of her legs, torso, and head to create the form-fitted armor and faceplate of the superheroine. The most visible and deadly elements of the demolitionist's arsenal are her multi-barreled handguns. Four separate guns were created for the film. Several were created to be non-working props, while others are functional gas-powered props designed by KNB's Tim Ralston and David Wog to shoot small, harmless flashes of calcium carbide, giving the appearance of a deadly rapid-fire mechanism. She's used to getting her ass kissed. I don't kiss anyone's ass. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> you left Baywatch. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, you know you were the star of Baywatch, right? You know, 140 countries all of a sudden went, where the hell is Nicole? <laughs> yeah, Nicole, well, by the way, Nicole's in a new movie. Why'd you take this part? <laughs> because I liked it. And to round out her hat trick of post-Baywatch roles, Nicole's latest finds her as a futuristic cyber cop in The Demolitionist. I've got all my weapons, and I kick everybody's butt. <laughs> Everybody. And this here is the armor, the, the chest plate. If it's a success, if it turns out well, I'll be, so, I'll be so excited. I would love to continue with this. It's great. To prepare for the intense physical demands placed on the cast of The Demolitionist, Nicole Eggert trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat and fencing with Tom Savini. As well as playing the villainous part of Roland, Savini's background in special effects and acting made him the perfect foil for Eggert as she trained for the film. Starting with stripped-down Kawasaki Ninja chassis, the jet-powered motorcycle of the demolitionist is nearly as impressive as the vigilante herself. The bike frames were covered with a block of rigid foam, and the bike's design was literally carved by KMB's Eric Harris. Ultimately outfitted with a finished, lightweight fiberglass frame, the demo cycle is sturdy enough to withstand the punishing production. scary as I thought he would. He looks like a nice guy. It's all on the inside. One of the other projects I've been involved with this year is From Dust Till Dawn. Back in 1990, I wrote the original s story for the film, and John Esposito, my partner, and I hired then-unknown writer Quentin Tarantino to do a first draft of the screenplay. Since then, we've worked with Quentin on Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, and um, Four Rooms. But From Dust Till Dawn was our biggest project with Quentin because of the the amount of uh, makeup effects, uh, digital effects, animatronic puppets and such that were, were in the film. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a big giraffe for the demolitionist. Big round of applause. 